Well, good morning, everybody. Um, obviously, a few weeks back, um, I thought it was absolutely superb when uh, Greg Bartosz Blair did a track walk and uh, went to every bend on the track to tell you a little bit about it. But if the track is interesting, then for me, the terracing here at Sheffield Park has got even more stories to tell. And uh, so partly for the benefit of somebody coming to Sheffield for the first, first time, um, wondering about the lay of the land, always helpful to have some information. I've put together a little uh, presentation, which I will narrate over just now. I will share screen. Share screen, get my notes ready. And so first of all, when you come to Shearfield Park, if like me, you're a cash payer, then obviously we've got turnstiles here from the main car park. And um, I must say that, um, and by the way, I must point out that all my views are my own. They are nothing to do with the uh, Berwick Speedway management. And uh, so I put that disclaimer in straight away. Um, but I must say that when it comes to adult admission, uh, it's the cheapest, best in the country, um, best value in the country. £17 for an adult for a bandits match and only £10 for a bullets match. But when it comes to a double header, it's even cheaper because instead of 27, the double headers are reduced to just 24 pounds um, and once you get the other side of the turnstiles obviously there's a, a, a you can get your programs you can get your so you get your programs from the turnstile you can get your 50 50 draw tickets there's a, a burger bar and a club shop and if you've had a few drinks because you've been taxed to the speedway there are the uh, the loos the gents and ladies lose just at the start of the main grandstand. And uh, these lose used to be just about the worst in the country. And now they are about the plushest. Um, so, yes. Immediately upon entering the turnstiles here, I say you've got your 50-50 draw tickets, um, your programs you can actually get from the, uh, from the turnstile. You've got your, uh, so your draw tickets, your burgers, your club shop. Um, and here, <laughs> this, this is the TV gantry, the television gantry. This is where the, uh, on a good day, on a good day, you can hear the shouty brothers, the James and Marty, across the North Sea in Denmark. Now, <laughs> they've only just started and they claim that they're way out of their comfort zone. But we know that that's just an excuse to try and get a bigger fee for next season. Thing is, they get bugger all at the moment anyway, so that won't be very difficult. And in actual fact, a couple of coffers keep some subdued, which for me is money well spent, especially when you consider what drama queens speedway commentators can be. Next, we have the main grandstand. Um, as you can see, there is seating near the starting gate um, and you get a great view, I must admit. But when the riders come out of the pit and they come to the gate, they'll tilt their bike and spin their back wheel. So be very careful about seat sitting along the very frontier, because if you're right opposite where the bikes are, the, honestly, you'll be fetching bits of shale out of your hair, your shirt, your underpants and your shoes for about a week. Generally speaking, when you come to the speedway and there's an area of seating or standing that you think is ideal, but nobody else is there, there's usually a reason. Now then, we can see it here. I've got a better view of it here. Here is the referee's box. <laughs> Up at the back of the stand is the referee's box, which has survived the ire of many a speedway rider, especially remember, remember of course, Cosa Smith, desperately trying to tell the four-eyed dipstick that they were wrong. And no, I'm not referring to Dennis McCleary, Lawrence Heppel, or Steve Hayward. Um, it, amazing, isn't it, that despite having the best view of the start and the racing, 
most referees will no doubt be able to come up with some bizarre decision against the bandits. What's next? Oh, here we go. Here is the apex of the first and second bands. Uh, there are there is a, a, a rope to keep you away from getting too close, um, because not just for the sh for the shale. Most people that watch here they stand well at the back, um, but also because as you know, speedway bikes have been known to grow rings and fly. Not to do with Red Bull Monster or any other energy drink available from all good supermarkets. Just here, the start of the back straight. Um, as you can see, there's some Plymouth fans here behaving themselves, but a couple of weeks back, a scene of wild celebrations by red car supporters and riders. I'm not sure why. I don't think anybody knows why. All they had won was the meeting and the chance to go to the next round. It wasn't like they'd won the cup or anything. You know? Anyway, um, maybe it's just a case. Simple things, please. Simple minds. Now, um, Moving on to number seven. We're under the ducket here. As you can see, this is where the uh, Billy the Bowser the water truck is going around, making sure that the track is well hydrated. And immediately behind where I took this photograph is the bar. Superbly operated by Mark and Caroline Rakenshaw. And um, when you consider that a pint of Stella is just two pound fifty. It's just as handy, just 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 as well and handy. That immediately behind the ducat are more loose. Um, and also, this is this is more or less where I tend to stand. Uh, you get a great view of the riders coming out of the second bend and into the third. Um, I must admit, when I when I first started coming, most people would be up, up here in the main stand. Um, nobody else stood. Um, at this vantage point, but over the years, it's become more popular, a more and more um, popular vantage point. Um, and out on the track, just here, is where Bartosz Blair attempted many years to shake hands with legendary rider and former Berrican, Berrington Loft track record holder, Andrew Silva, and caused the pair of them to end up in an untidy heap very similar to Theo and Leon near the start of the season back in April. Um, and of course, here is the legendary third bend. Um, as you can see, it's quite steep. Up on the top here, we have the Shearfield Park Mountain Rescue Service, always on hand to assist unsuspecting fools who may wander off down from the summit to congratulate their heroes before realizing the folly of their expedition. It is very steep, very, very steep indeed. Um, and the, the gentlemen in question tend to be members of the Barmy Army who are always stood there. Um, as you can see, there is no access. Uh, that's one of the reasons why the guy's there to stop anybody. There, there is a path that goes all the way around the third bend and fourth bend all the way to the pits. However, um, it's not a good idea to try and get there because as I say, it has been known for bikes to fly. Uh, of course, and to take wings. We all remember, of course, a few years back, Matthew Stormy Weathers and his spectacular crash against the Monarchs. And of course, only on Saturday, we saw that huge um, crash by Nathan when he managed to hit this, this panel here with his bike. The bike then shot over the fence, somersaulted, and we managed to slow down and capture the moment the bike was in midair. And you can see it's higher than the fencing around the third bend there. And this is the camera shot from the TV gantry. So this is going down. There's about a 12 foot drop from the gantry to, to here. And you can see the bike is higher than the fence. Anyway, um, as I say, that's that's basically the uh, Berwick Shearfield Park track walk. And um, 
if you do get the chance to come here and it's your first time, hopefully this will be of use. Um, and if you've never been to Berwick, you really should come to Berwick. It's a spectacular venue. Um, I remember being a supporter of Berwick in the days of Barrington Loft and going to Exeter for the first time and thinking, wow, this is, this is something else. And of course, I, little did I know that Berwick had its own county ground, this uh, fantastic stadium, Shearfield Park. Anyway, catch you all again soon. Bye for now.